All right, welcome back to BSTV. Hey guys. Temptation Island just happened. Let's yes. talk about it. So good. Well, it wasn't that good. It was pretty good. It was a, finally the episode where the couples were able to give the um, tell them send, send a video message, like a video message, yeah. right? So to talk about how much growth they've gone through, right. or to just say, "I hate you." Yeah. So, but none of them really did. Um, so yeah, it was really good. LaSalle, I just, I just can't be his fan. I'm not into him. I think that he's just so robotic, especially in the message that he sent to Ash. I just, he just doesn't come across like as a genuine person. And he's like, and just matter of fact, like zero emotion at all. So I feel really bad for Ash. And even when he speaks to the other girl, Trace, he doesn't really give much emotion either. And he says that he's grown and he's shown so emotion towards her and in comparison to his seven-year relationship with Ashley, like, I don't know if I really buy it. I just feel like he's super robotic and not trustworthy. And I'll, the only reason why I'm saying this is because you have him up on your screen first. That's why I was going through this couple of Yeah, times. of course. That's what the point of having oh, him up was. Oh, I thought it was just a random, yeah. like, randomly that you no. had it on. Okay. What did you think? Yeah, I don't like him. I just don't think he's like good in a relationship. I don't think he cares to be in one, whether with Trace or Ashley. Uh, Ashley's starting to see other guys now, though. Actually, mm -hmm. like starting to make out with them and stuff. Yeah. Whereas before, she was kind of distant. Right. Uh, yeah, and I also think for his video message, same with Hanya we'll talk about. I think they read the message. So that's why it comes off robotic. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a teleprompter or something that they wrote out and they're just reading it. Mm -hmm. Well, Some of the guys seem to like Edgar, but he's a poet. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. So like there's where we're a little more smooth. So here we have Iris and Luke. Yeah. And they were very emotional towards each other, saying that they both miss each other. He was more emotional towards her. She was kind of more standoffish. And I think it's just because she says that she's been hurt by him so many times and whatnot. But he actually came through and said that he does miss her and that he loves her and that he's working through his own things and realizes that, you know, he's done her wrong in the relationship and whatnot. So that was kind of nice. And part of that is because he's jealous that the new guy Deke, oh, yeah. Deke, Deke showed really up and him. she likes him. So yeah. she's really jealous of that. But I think they're super boring. I don't really want to talk about them at all. Okay. Like, so like I think they're one of the worst couples that's ever been on the show. Nice enough people, but just boring. They, they Maybe they get bad edits. Maybe. But there's nothing fun going on with them. This couple's fun. Yeah. So Edgar uh, gets with <laughs> Marissa. They actually show the second yeah. yeah. Um, And I think he was But so Jillian crazy. hasn't seen that yet. No. So that could be at the next bonfire. Yeah. And it seems like she's pretty much over him. Um, yeah, she's pretty much told Tommy, like, I just want to go to the bedroom and it's okay if it doesn't work out. Like, it seems like she's done with Edgar. Yeah. She, she's just like, I'm ready to move on now. Yeah. So, but eh, it's fine for them. Whatever. I mean, they're still young. Like, you're only, how old are they? 20, 22, 23? Like, I don't know. I think Just he's 23. Live your and, life. Yeah. Live your best life. She's got to be right around the same age because they have high school, school sweethearts and everything. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're high school sweethearts. I mean, they just went to college together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I like her. I think she has a good storyline. His storyline is, I don't know, he's, he's like a little kid. But uh, he's starting to actually let loose now and have more fun. So who knows? Maybe too late, though, for me to actually, like, care about his storyline I feel like a lot of these characters, like the cast, are very young. I feel like that has a lot <coughs> to do with their personalities, maybe. Well, this couple's not very young. No, the, yeah, aside from this couple, the other one. This is the young. best story on the yeah, show. Yeah, so I feel like maybe they should just cast older people next time. But anyways. Yeah. So basically, Ash just continues to, like, be head over heels with Taylor. Mm -hmm. And well, uh, speaking of Taylor, he has just, like, really big hands. Every time they make out, he, like, puts his hand on her face and it just, like, takes up her whole face. Uh, it's like a bear paw. Yeah, it's just, like, huge hands. But he wrote her a song and so did that other guy, that one that likes Ash. Yeah. That was really nice and romantic. Yeah. Yeah, too bad you don't know how to sing. Mm, I'm pretty good. To, you know how Best to sing. Best singer in the family. <laughs> to be... <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. So, anyways, so, Hanya, uh, he says he's not going to sleep with his girl... 
because he doesn't want it to be revenge sex because of all the stuff he's seen that Ash do. You just bang every other girl. Well, he's talked about like outside the show that he did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he sends her a video message being like, how much I've grown and I love you and blah, 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 blah. And then she doesn't send him a message, which is a message in itself, which right. is like, I hate you. Yeah. Yeah. You're not worth my time right now. What's that saying? The uh, like uh, about being quiet or saying nothing speaks volumes. Yeah, okay. Say that's less. a saying. Say yeah, less. That's a good saying. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. You know? Less is more. Yeah. Less is more. There we go. Say less. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So she continues on with Taylor, and uh, that's it. In, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens at the end of the show. I. I Hanya only has a chance if Taylor's out of the picture. Like, if Taylor's like, hey, I was just on the show at a party. Mm-hmm. Like, we're done. We don't live anywhere near each other. Then maybe she'll give Hanya another chance. But otherwise, I think she's leaving them for Taylor. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So let's look at the other ones. Do you think they're going to stay together? No. No, I think they're done also. What about these? Yes. Yeah, they'll get back together. And here? No. I think they'll get back together. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to wait and see if Trace wants to be with him. And I think Trace is kind of... The same as, like, Tommy with Jillian. Like, I don't think Trace is going to stay with LaSalle. Mm. Like, he's had to beg her just to, like, have a chances. They haven't slept together. They haven't done anything. They don't really have a big connection other than they're the only two, you know, darker-skinned people on the show. I really think that's the only reason they're together. Maybe. By default? Yeah, like, I think he that's just his type, and he didn't have other choices. Mm-hmm. So he had to, like, beg her to be with him. And I just don't see them really lasting outside the show. And then he's going to go back. And then he's going to go back to Ashley. But anyways. uh, I guess we're almost done with the season. Yeah, it's got to be a couple episodes left. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to review next? I don't know. But uh, stay tuned. BSTV, like, subscribe, leave a comment.